All right, uh, we got a very funny man coming to the stage. Next, you've seen him on Comedy Central on BET HBO special. He's at the Ha Ha. He's a regular here. Give it up for everybody for Jeff Wolverton. I said, give it up for Jeff Wolverton. <laughs> Comedy Central has really gone downhill. Apparently, that everybody fucking on that show. Ah, <laughs> uh, hi. God damn, it's right up here. Uh, how's everybody doing tonight? I'm kidding. Woo! Oh hell, awesome! I love you guys, man. That's awesome. Uh, my name's Jeff. As you can see, I'm uh, from Ohio. I mean, not just the shirt, obviously the fat. But uh, actually, the big thing about coming out here from the Midwest is the whole like in the Midwest was a big honesty thing. I mean, it was just my dad or something, but he was always like, always tell the truth, always tell the truth, always be honest. And great, yeah, which was great until you grow up and you know try to get laid. And I come out here and it's like you know I meet a chick and she's like, oh, you're kind of a big guy, you know. Look, maybe you spent some time on the football field. I'm like, yeah, every single game, you know, since I was freshman year. She goes, oh, what uh, starter? What position you play? I'm like, first trombone. <laughs> yeah, da, 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 da. <laughs> the first trombone, you know, it was impressive to me. And it turns out there's a lot of things you don't want to be honest about. Every time a girl comes up to me, she goes, wow, you've uh, you've really big forearms. I'm like, oh, thank you, thank you. She goes, you work out a lot to get those? I'm like, no, that's actually because I'm constantly masturbating. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to switch hands, you know, so you get even like this. That's, that's hard to do. That's hard to do. <laughs> so I take a while, I finally realized that the trick to relationships and everything is to constantly lie, right? And I'm just, you gotta get used to doing it. I'm not really used to doing it. So I was dating a chick and she goes, so what do you think this new makeup I got? What do you think? I'm like, gotta lie, gotta lie, gotta lie. I'm like, well, it definitely does not look like you're an aging hooker who's trying to hide that she spent too much time in the sun. Aww. I'll tell you that. Yeah, that was her reaction, too. I don't know. Uh, the other thing, uh, you guys have, you know, buckets of beer out here? I went out here, I went to a bar here and ordered, like, a bucket of beer. And they give you an actual bucket with ice in it and six nice beers all arranged. And uh, back in Ohio, maybe it's just an Ohio State thing, but we had a bucket of beer, and it was a mop bucket full of, like, six gallons of cheap-ass fucking beer. Yeah, seriously. And it'd be like five guys around it about my size and sitting there in this one bucket of beer. But it was, uh, you know, there were a lot of rules. You know, if you had a glass, you weren't allowed to put your own glass in the beer. That'd be, that'd be gross, right? So instead, there's a plastic glass, like, sitting in the beer, and the idea is you use that as a scoop to fill your own beer. You know, that way it's sanitary. Except after, like, the second beer, you know, you guys grabbing it and putting their whole arm in up to the elbow, you know? Oh, best beers at the bottom. <laughs> People have been drinking it. People have been putting their cigarettes out in it. You know, sometimes you get a drink, you're like, oh, chewy. And then, once you get down to the final, this is really gross, I'll tell you anyway. Uh, you get down to the final, like, quarter inch of beer at the bottom. Are you going to say this? You finally get down to the last part, okay? And then it's a thing on who can you make finish the bucket. Okay, at this point, it's the worst shit. I mean, there might be a fingernail in there, a class ring, somebody's keys, I don't know what the fuck's. And it'll be like, get somebody to finish it. And the guy who's going to do it is always the guy who's the drunkest, which is always me. And so it's like, oh, finish the bucket, finish the bucket. So you grab it, and like, ah! And then, like, bucket does double duty, right? You're like, ah! Ohio's a classy place, is what I'm trying to get across. It's a nice food place. Uh, let's talk about sex shops. Anybody know about this? Uh, yeah, that was my segue. I worked on that for a while. I'm like, what? But no, down the street on Lancashire, there actually is a sex shop. It's called Le Sex Shop. Have you seen this? I'm like, yeah. yes, that's IPP. Yeah. And it's like fancy, you know, it's called like it's foreign. Like people are gonna go by and go, I wish you know what the hell that was, but I don't speak French. You know, I don't know what that is. But I actually went there this past Friday with two chicks, thank you. Just friends, just friends chicks. Yeah. And they wouldn't take me. But uh, I actually go in there with these two girls. And if you've ever been in a sex shop with girls that you're just friends with, and the rule, the golden rule is, and guys can back me up on this, right? You have to pretend you've never been in this store before. <laughs> so I go in, and they go over, and they look at all the sex stuff and everything. And I'm walking over to the clerk, you know, the chick behind the counter, and I'm like, hey, Susan, how are the kids? Okay, good. I've never been here before, okay? Don't give them the discount if they buy anything. Don't have to pay them next time, okay? Oh, shit. He's doing the sale next week on the lesbian bulk DVD. Oh. But, uh, that was great. Cost some stuff. Uh, let's see. Who got out there? Hey! You ever been, uh, asking about skydiving? I'm gonna grab you as a close guy. You ever been skydiving? I have. No? Huh? Did I ask you anything, ma'am? <laughs> Shut the fuck up over there. <laughs> what the hell? Is this group time? <laughs> He's got a hot chick with him, so I'm talking to him and I don't. Oh. Sorry. 
This is my sister, by the way. Honestly, seriously, just so. Okay. Thank you. I can't believe what the fuck I was talking about now. Skydiving. All right, skydiving. Thank you. Thank you for this guy. No, so you've never been skydiving, right? You should try it. It's better than sex. I swear to God. How about you? Have you ever tried sex? You should try it while he's skydiving. Then it'll be fine. Just kidding, kidding, kidding. Seriously, I did go skydiving, actually. And I went uh, tandem skydiving. Anybody know what that is? Skydiving, you jump out of a plane, right? Tandem skydiving is like you have a guy strapped to your ass and he jumps out of a plane. And you just have like no choice to go along with it. And I swear to God, when you, when you first go into the plane, you don't wear a parachute. He has a parachute. You just have this like sex toy harness garter belt thing on. I think I saw one in the sex shop. You just have that on over your regular clothes and nothing else. And so we get into the plane, and we're going up, the plane's like going up this angle, it's like, and the entire side of the plane is a door, you know, it's like this garage door to hell. And we're going up, and it's as we're going up, I realize the guy behind me that I'm going to, you know, hook up to, he's not hooked to me right now. And he's got a parachute on. The guy in front of me who's got the camera helmet thing on, he's got a parachute on. These other two guys that are going to go solo, they got a parachute on. Basically, and I just got, you know, the sex harness on. And so everybody in this plane, a pilot has a fucking parachute. Everyone has a parachute except for me. And at this point, I swear to God, this is true. I go to the guy behind me, and I go, why don't you strap us together now? And he does this. You know, for them, it's just another day of work. He does this. He goes, well, we don't want to do that just yet. And I'm like, yeah, we do. Some of us do. I know I do. And then, then I'm looking around, and if I got anything else wrong, I realize that the uh, camera guy has a helmet on. These two guys have a helmet on. The guy that's their instructor has a helmet on. Nobody gave me a helmet. And I whisper to the guy behind me, and I'm like, nobody gave me a helmet. And he does this. I swear to God, that's true. He goes, Nobody gave me a helmet. I'm like, maybe we should both go back and get helmets. You know, what the hell, man? So then finally, you know, it happens. They open the door, the guy straps in the last second. He jumps out, I have no choice at this point. And so then we're going down, and I'm like on the bottom in this situation. I mean, not like sexually. Actually, you might as well be. If this guy wanted to fuck me in the ass at that point, it would just be another way to connect on him. I'd you know, tighten my butt cheeks and make sure he's with me all the way down. But uh, it's probably going to be gross. I didn't say it was going to be a nice story. But uh, so then we're going all the way down and you find out, and you got like this vertical, you know, hurricane coming at you. And this thing I found out for us, like, heftier men, for a while, all your neck skin and chin fat and all this stuff starts going. Blah, 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 blah. And so I watch the tape, and it looks like I'm wearing, like, a loose fitting sweater made out of flesh. <laughs> and the camera guy, he's, like, floating in front of me, and he's doing one of these. He's like, like, I'm not emoting enough for the camera. You know, at this point, I'm worried about having a heart attack or that the wind's gonna finally catch it up my neck flesh to like, you know, whoop, turn me into like a big flying squirrel, you know? You'd be like, oh, look, big flying squirrel. Oh no, look at the forum, some guy jacks off on it. Oh, God, you guys are great. I'm so glad I came up here for this. Uh, anybody like penguins? Still one of my great segues, by the way. Penguins? Yeah. Woo, penguins! Yeah. No, I actually saw a, uh, you ever seen March of the Penguins, the Penguin documentary? Yeah. Okay, you see it, it's, it's, there's one hilarious part about them you get to, which is, they look so identical to each other, like the male and female, that literally male penguins can't tell what a female penguin is until they get right next to them and can, like, smell them. So during their, uh, like, mating season, you got 600,000 penguins, and they're all male penguins walking up trying to figure out which one's a female. You know, they're walking up like, you a chick? No, no. You a chick? Okay. Hey, you got a nice ass in there. Bob, it's me. Oh, sorry, Steve. <laughs> well, you, you got a chick? You, hey, look at you, baby, working that body. Me again, Bob. <laughs> Man, I need you like name tags or something. Uh, well, I got the lights, so I'm just going to thank you guys and leave you with my uh, shitty ass penguin, horny penguin impersonation. Yeah! <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you.